I'm Grunty. You're Haseo. Oi. So you're the new guild master, huh? Oi. An NPC? My name is Death Grunty of the Grunty race. I'm the manager of this at home. Oi. I won't accept someone like you. Oi. Huh? Managing a guild requires good instincts and talent. Oi. I'm gonna test you to see if you've got them. Oi. Okay, I'll give you two assignments. Oi. And if you can clear both of these assignments, I just might consider accepting you as the guild master. Oi. Here's your first assignment. Oi. The three sacred treasures of the Grunty race. Grunty's hat. Grunty's shoe. Grunty's brush. You need to cooperate with your guild members to gather these. Oink. My companions hold the sacred treasures. Oink. If you get down on your knees and beg sincerely, I'm sure you can get them to lend the treasure to a lowlife like you. Oink. My companions are wandering around the city. Hurry up and find them and bring back the sacred treasures. Oink. I don't like him. I don't like this obnoxious, weird rodent at all. <laughs> I guess Grunty's event started. What event are you talking about? It's the Guildmaster's certification event for our guild. When you first become a Guildmaster, Grunty gives you an assignment. I don't want to run errands for a stupid NPC. But if you don't clear the event that the Grunty gave you, you'll never be able to use all of At Home's features. So, what kind of trial were you given, Haseo? He told me to find some rare items. I don't think I had a trial like that. Fine, whatever. I can get those items if I just find that thing's companions in the town, right? I'll finish this up in no time. Good luck, Haseo! We're counting on you! Greetings and salutations, and this is Tacrodot here, back with more Dot Hack GU Volume 1 Rebirth. And yes, I'm going to talk over this dumbass Grunty every time it fucking talks, because I hate this piece of shit Grunty. I don't I don't mind the other Gruntys in the games. I actually love the metal ones, and some of the ones we meet during this quest are actually pretty chill. But that one fucking Grunty gets on my last goddamn nerve. Like, seriously, like, for so many reasons. First of all, it's the voice. He's like, you better do better, like, like it literally sounds like that. And that is ear grating. Like, I don't mind the voice acting in this game for the most part. In many cases, it's fantastic. I think there's only like a couple characters that are a little weaker. Uh, one of them is okay. The character we'll meet later. And then the other is that fucking grunty but the difference between alkate and that grunty is i can tolerate listening to alkate she's not annoying that grunty Welcome is to the ship of twilight Wait, fuck that grunty seriously fuck that grunty i have been waiting for you to come here for a long time Nero. so moved that you're speechless Nero. hmm i know just what it is that you're looking for Nero. It is not that hard for me to guess, Nero. Go on and take this with you, Nero. Now go and be well, Nero. Now I'm gonna let these other Grunties talk because like I said, they don't annoy me. They're pretty chill, but that one fucking Grunty, why? Why did he have to? It also bugs me that he looks exactly like a pig version of Haseo. Like, I hate that. Like I hate that so much. Ooh, you. It's so beautiful and peaceful. Ooh, you. My grandma said that there's a palace for fishes at the bottom of the water. Ooh, you. I'm sure there are canned tuna and smoked salmon swimming happily there. Ooh, you. I want to go. Ooh, you. Hmm? You want something? Will you? <laughs> I think I smell death grunty on you. Oh, yo. The smell tells me that you want something. Who you? You want this, right? Who you? That's his full name, isn't it? The death grunty. I fucking hate death grunty. I fucking 
hate that piece of shit. And I know I'm talking over this Grunty now, but I don't care. Now that I know, like, which specific Grunty it is, I fucking hate it. Like, I'm not gonna stop complaining about it until this quest is over either. You're gonna hear me bitch and moan about this. Because it's the one part of this game I fucking can't stand. You're gonna hear me complain. I'm sorry about that. Like, this is the one part of this whole game that gets me frustrated. And it's just because you have to listen to that piece of shit. That is literally the whole reason this part of the game pisses me off. My god. I, I don't know if they were intending for you to hate that character or not. I would have to assume so because this game is really good at making you like characters. Even ones you think you would never like. But... Good, good grief. Fuck Death Grunty. Seriously, fuck Death Grunty. I fucking hate Death Grunties so much. The one character in this game I fucking hate. Excuse my French. How sad. How romantic. And with myself standing in the twilight, I am the ultimate man. Hey, you're pretty manly yourself. But you're no match for me. Hmm? So, you want to obtain my manliness for yourself? <laughs> sure! <laughs> There's always room to be even more manly! <laughs> First, you need to work hard until the sunset has burned itself into your eyes! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the guy that voiced that grunty must have been having the time of his life because that sounded... <laughs> that sounded like... A fun voice to do, I ain't gonna lie. I don't think I could mimic it, so I'm not even going to attempt to, but that sounded like a fun voice to do. That's probably my favorite Grunty in this side quest. Or not, well, it is technically a side quest because it's not like a main plot quest, but it's mandatory to progress, so I don't really know what to call it. But that's probably my favorite Grunty voice wise in this quest. Personality wise, it's really hard to choose because they're all like. If they were all, if they all had voices like Death Grunty, they'd all be annoying personality-wise. But you can kind of look over their personality because the other three have decent voices. This one right here, fuck this guy. Yes, I'm talking over him. I don't give a fuck. I hate, I'm not going to let you, your ears bleed from this guy like I have to. So you're going to hear me talk over him. Deal with it. I do not give a fuck about this damn Grunty and how what this is a Grunty to go jump up a fucking cliff. It is, I have, I have not felt this much hate for a video game character in a long time. I'm telling you, like I, I have not, I don't have that much hate in me these days. Like it's hard for me to like full on hate somebody, especially like a fictional character but this is like next level i fucking hate this annoying little piglet piece of shit hey guys i vote we burn death grunty all in favor say aye come on come on we, we can can't we burn them syllabus you in on this right what what do you mean man do i have to go collect the money you guys never want to do this fun shit duties as the guild master I see how it is, Gaspar. I ain't gonna be helping with that diss track now. You got to write that shit on your own. <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> so now we gotta put some items up in the shop. Uh, I believe that's what it's telling us to do. I'm not sure what we're doing exactly, but we're storing stuff. We're either putting it in the shop or we're just putting it into a storage. Oh no, we're putting it in the shop. Okay, that's what we're... Yeah, okay, I was right. Um, but like I said, I don't like this Grunty. I'm not. I'm going to stop like going so hard on this Grunty because I, I've been doing it for like seven minutes straight. And I think you get the point. I, I just hate this Grunty. I'm not going to keep saying... I'm not going to keep saying it. I'm not going to be a broken record like that. So we're going to move on. Let's talk about the guild shop. The guild shop is actually kind of useful. Because, like, throughout the game, there are moments where you need some money to, like, buy better gear. Or to, like, 
buy copies of your gear to upgrade that gear like there's certain points where you'll have to do that and you you're not gonna you're probably not going to get enough money you're probably not going to get enough currency from just doing like areas so you're it's best to like put some of these up in the shop i haven't done it in like in the second game yet but now that i remember it's a thing i'm definitely going to continue doing it um in that let's play while i'm because i'm recording that let's play very slowly on the side of other let's plays because it's not gonna go up until after my next it's not gonna go up until this and the hat and time are both done and i get through life well it's it might be uploaded with life is strange true colors honestly because that game um will be i'll start uploading that game once a hat and time is done so this might get uploaded alongside that. If it does, I'll start pushing myself to record more of it. It's a pretty lengthy game though, which is why I've been trying to take my time with it. You know, like this one was only like 14 hours, but if I remember correctly, the second game's supposed to be like 30. I'm gonna look it up. <clears throat> I'm gonna look it up. How long? is each game and i'm sorry i'm talking over cutscene you know what i'm gonna shut up while i'm doing this oh you're the kid who came to the shop the other day Bo, right i am so glad to see you i wanted to give you the rest of the money you know that i owe you from the other day don't worry about that i gave you the discount but quit being stubborn just shut up and accept my goodwill. Thank you. I think that I... Uh, I really like that about you, Haseo. What, what the hell are you saying? <laughs> well, you know, that's just what I think anyway. <sighs> so, uh, what are you playing today? Are you a store clerk again? Well... Something like that. Do you know about guild masters? Yep. Well, now I'm one. I'm in the middle of one of those events. So, you're a guild master. Way to go, Haseo. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay then. Congratulations on completing the Guildmaster event, Haseo! Yay! Congratulations, Haseo! Hey, you didn't have to go and buy... Jeez, it's fine, really. I just... I just wanted to help you out, Haseo. But... Just shut up and accept my goodwill, alright? <laughs> oh, I see. Goodwill, huh? Well, thanks. So I know this is off topic of that cutscene, but I do have the info now. Um, apparently the original version of this first volume was like 19 hours, but they sped up a lot of stuff in the last recode version, such as leveling up and all that. So I finished this at about 14 hours. So if I was to guess, it says the original version of volume two was 20 hours so it's probably gonna be like 15 16 hours ish so it's not as long as i thought i think it's the third game that was supposed to be really lengthy if i'm if i remember correctly but we're not doing the third game until next volume of run on games this one's just this volume's just gonna have volumes one and two because i don't want to burn myself out on these games i'm gonna take a break from them after volume two and then come back like a year later maybe a few months later depending on when it gets uploaded and yes i'm still talking over this little shit you can deal with it um but maybe it depends on when like the next volume begins because it'll probably be the first or second let's play of that just to get the last main dot hack gu game out of the way there's still volume four which i may do eventually because it's just a short little epilogue so it'd be easy to do but i don't know if i'm doing that just yet so the current plans for this volume of my own on games is to get this game done alongside a hat in time i started uploading a hat in time at the right 
at the right point because these both these let's plays are going to end the same week once they both end i'll start uploading got hack gu volume 2 and life is strange true colors together I fucking hate this little bitch. Like, what? Did it just sucker punch? Oh my god. Like, I know Haseo's kind of an asshole, but like, my guy. <laughs> you, you did not just let this little shit sucker punch you like that. Beat his ass. I would beat this motherfucker's ass for that. He's already annoying the shit out of us. I'm sorry for cussing so much, but this little thing literally pisses me off that much. Like, I would beat its ass for doing that. If it sucker... If I was Haseo and that little shit sucker punched me like that, I would beat its ass. I am not kidding. I'm, I'm not a violent person. I'm very much against violence outside of, like, video games, of course, because video game violence... You doesn't hurt anybody in real life right so yeah that's true I'm but sure that the condition for getting and i think i'd make an exception for death grunty i think I, i'm sorry i might be over hating this this fucker but i think i'd make an exception for death grunty death grunty is the most annoying video game character i've encountered since let me think about this When's the last time I I encountered a video game character who who annoyed me this much? Um, <laughs> it's been a minute. I think it has. I think it's really been a minute because I know no games of the last five years have had characters to piss me off that much. So I it's been a minute. Oh yeah, we're starting the tur tournament stuff now, so I can speak a little more freely on that stuff once we get to a certain point. Earlier, when I was mention mentioning out Adelie and Syllabus, like taking them to get her on a mission to level up, I think I mentioned that at some point, but I didn't mention why I think Syllabus was the other person. It's because Syllabus is going to be joining us in the tournament, but Gaspar is not. So we have to convince Adelie to join us eventually. And then that begins the tournament arc that pretty much takes up the rest of the game. For the most part, you get like an hour of gameplay after the tournament ends, including like a really neat final boss. But other than that, half this game is just tournament, basically. And I don't mind that. I really don't. The tournament is fun. It's a neat little like mechanic. And you do do some more tournament stuff in the second game. But... It ended yeah. up turning into just another place for all the rude players, like the player killers, to hang out. That's how it got started. Haseo, I think it would be good for you to learn a little bit more about what's going on in the world, you know? The arena has three classes. The Demon Palace, the Holy Palace, and the Sage Palace. The first class that any player can challenge is the Demon Palace. I'm surprised you like the arena so much. Oh, we don't come that often. It's just that today... Hey, isn't it about to start? Let's go! Start? Hey, the Emperor of the Demon Palace is going to be participating in today's title match! Emperor? He's something of an eccentric, so he rarely fights other than to defend his title in the tournament. Wow, you're lucky, Haseo! you bloodthirsty man drawn to this place by the thrill of the fight can you hear the crowd can you feel their violent excitement this is the story of the men who have come here lusting for the emperor's throne let the demon palace title match begin well it's time for the title match to begin they have taken out opponents after opponents and now they reach their arms up to challenge the sky itself they look as if they're proclaiming dominance over the focus of the public. The only thing occupying They're the challengers, huh? The All they've got going victory. on is their size. That's yes. what you think. These Those guys have actually improved quite a bit. Letter. That team's popularity is shooting through the roof. He's here!
Yay! That guy is... He's... the Emperor? Yep, that's the undefeated Emperor himself. Emperor Endrance. Endrance, huh? Oh, Master Ren truly is the greatest of them all. <sighs> hey, wait a second. Isn't that weird? What? What's the matter, Haseo? Why are there three challengers, but the Emperor is alone? That's what's so amazing about Entrance. He has never formed a party. Not even once in his entire arena career. Is that even allowed? The arena regulations state that parties of up to three players are allowed. Including the leader, that is. There's no rule that you can't participate by yourself. Of course, no one does that usually. It puts you at a huge disadvantage. <laughs> it's starting! So I'm going to commentate now because even though this is a gameplay, we're literally just watching like Endrance's view on this fight. But I mean, it kind of looks like gameplay. I actually do kind of like that they made it look like gameplay, but you're not actually controlling Endrance here. Thankfully, you're not because it would have given away too many spoilers if you did. Um, not going to get into that. always fights. First, he lets his opponents attack, apparently to find out if he can see through their attacks or something. Well, even so, he can't win if he never attacks, right? <sighs> Kill him! Huh. So uninteresting. She gets easily bored by this ordinary type of battle. <laughs> <sighs> can only be seen by epitaph users. Haseo? No, it's nothing. Just go away. To me, you're nothing but ugly dolls. What? What did the Emperor just do? Instant kill? You mean there's a skill that can do that? <sighs> that was absolutely amazing! Actually, about halfway through, everything flew way over my head. I guess that must be how the expert players fight each other. It looks like you understood what happened, Haseo. That's really impressive. You did? That... Huh? That isn't a fight at all! Huh? Huh. <sighs> hey! Hey! Wait up! Entrance is... an epitaph user? Hey! I said to wait up for us! Haseo! 
An epitaph user together with Ida. Why? I wonder, does GU know that Entrance is an epitaph user? I can't ask them after what happened. Uh, Ovan! So there you go. Entrance is a fucking cheater. And I don't hate Entrance like I do Death Grunty, but I definitely don't like Entrance either. He was one of the few characters that like... <sighs> I know I said Death Grunty was the only character who annoyed me, but Entrance mildly annoys me at certain points. But at the same time, I actually am really entertained by his character. So like, it's a mixed bag for me. Like sometimes I love Entrance as a character, but other times I hate him as a person. Like, it's one of those types of characters. You love them, you love how they're written, but you hate them as a person, if that makes sense. I have plenty of characters I feel that way about across many different games, shows, etc., etc. Like, there are many characters that I hate them as a person, but I love how they're written. I love who they are as a character. So, it's like, you gotta separate, like, their personality from how they're written. Because they could be, like, the worst person on the planet and have the best writing ever. Like, there are characters like that. And then there's the flip side, where they could be, like, the best person ever, but have shit then, writing. Thanks to you. That's a case where you hate the character, but you don't necessarily so you hate their personality. <laughs> it would seem that one cannot defeat him without stronger powers. <sighs> Damn it. At this rate. Did you happen to see Endrance's fight? Yeah. Just who is that guy anyway? He's chasing an insatiable dream. Dream? In a sense, Endrance is just the same as you are. Except, in his case, he has something you lack. What does that mean? I believe that you know the answer to that better than anyone. I will always be waiting for you. Waiting for you to... Huh? No. Wh what I'll see you again, Haseo. Hey! Wait! Ovan! Hey, you! What the hell are you doing here? Oh, it's you. Don't you think I'm the one who should be asking that question? Don't you dare talk to me like you know me! Who do you think you are? Hmm? Sako is my big sister. She was using this character until yesterday. Oh, you're the sister. Um, hello? What are you looking at me like that for? You a freak. Ah! Oh, I got it. You're after Master N, aren't you? Forget it! I won't allow it. Master N and I are in love. And we're destined to be together forever! Who's Master N? Okay, scratch what I said about Death Grow to be the only character I hate. I forgot about Saku. I really forgot about Saku. Fuck her too. I hate Saku. But I'm gonna go back to be silent because of cutscene. Get out of here! 
tell me, who and what the hell are you? Why were you hanging around with Ida at the Lost Ground? Was that an avatar that you used in the fight just now? Hmm... So then you were able to see her, but nothing more than that. So you have no real power. You don't even have the heart to understand them. Seeing her doesn't change the fact that you're just someone in the crowd. You will grow old without ever accomplishing anything, and then you will just die and rot away into nothing. How pitiful. How truly, truly pitiful you are. Shut up! I don't have any real power. I'm just another face in the crowd. Who the hell are you to tell me that? I'll prove it. I'll show you power, and I'll defeat you. You? Defeat me? But how? <laughs> What's so funny? Impossible. It's impossible for you. Oh, it's too risky. You'll just be carried away on a... Shut up! I hate people who look down on others. I will defeat Entrance. Wow, Aseo, you really are amazing. I'd never have the nerve. But how are you going to fight against the Emperor? Hmm, I guess you'll have to fight your way through the tournament first, if you want to confront him. The tournament, huh? Hmm, well, you've got a very long way ahead of you, Haseo. What do you mean? Well, unlike the normal free battles in the arena, tournaments are official fights, recognized and organized by CC Corp. Those who qualify to enter must place among the top 16 registered ranker teams in each Coliseo. It'll be hard for you to get in now. Then I have to keep winning the free battles and become a top ranker, right? You make it all sound so easy, Haseo. It'll be hard if you're not at least over level 20. You'll need a party, too. You guys will do. What? Us? Oh, no! No way! I impossible! Well, why not? Gaspard gets really bad stage fright. Just thinking about being seen by lots of people makes my hands shake and then I can't do anything at all. As for me, if you insist, I'm willing to help you out. Okay, we need one more. You know, someone with healing spells would help balance out the party. So, do you happen to know any clerics? Hmm, any clerics? <sighs> What's wrong, Haseo? Nothing. You've got to have at least three people. You can participate with just two, right? Besides, that Master N guy fought by himself. Well, I know, but he is an exception. If a guy like me tried to fight alone like that, I'd be done for in no time. All right, fine. I'll see what I can do about finding the last member. If you find someone, send me an invite. See you later. Cleric. Huh. She's the only choice. Okay, unfortunately I don't have time to really speak on much of what just happened. So I'm gonna because I have to end off the video here. Bye!